Hi guys, this is IGCSE O level chemistry, paper 22, June 2018, question 21. Which statement about the periodic table is correct? Elements in the same group have the same number of electron shells. Elements in the same group would have different number of electron shells because down the group, the number of shells increases. This is incorrect. It contains elements arranged in order of increasing proton number. So elements in a group, periodic table, complete periodic table. So it contains elements in an order of increasing proton number. Yes, 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 yes. Going from left to right, the proton number increases and going from top to bottom also the proton number increases. So in both directions, the proton number is increasing. So yes, this is correct. Metals are on the right and non-metals are on the left. This is the exact opposite. Metals are on the left and non-metals are on the right. The most reactive elements are at the bottom of every group. No, this is not true. In the case of group one, the most reactive metals are at the bottom. In the case of group seven, the most reactive halogens are at the top. So this is incorrect. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option B. Question 22. Chlorine, bromine, and iodine are elements in group 7 of the periodic table. Which statement about these elements is not correct? The color gets darker down the group. Fluorine is a yellow gas. Chlorine is a green gas. Uh, bromine is a red-brown liquid. Iodine is a blue-black solid. Acetine is a dark black solid. So chlorine, bromine, iodine is considered here, but we looked at the entire halogen uh, element. So the color gets darker down the group, correct. The density increases down the group. As the mass increases, the density would also increase. So this is correct. They are all gases at room temperature and pressure. Fluorine and chlorine are gases. Bromine is a liquid. Iodine and acetine are solids. So this is incorrect. And uh, they are all non-metals. Yes, all halogens are non-metals. So the only option that is incorrect is option C. Question 23. Which row describes the properties of a transition element? Formed colorless compound is incorrect. So the options A and B have been eliminated. Has high density is correct. So acts as a catalyst and low electrical conductivity acts as a catalyst is correct due to having variable oxidation states and low electrical conductivity is incorrect because all transition elements are metals and are good conductors of electricity therefore the correct option for this question is option c Question 24. Stainless steel is an alloy of iron, carbon, and other metals. Which row is correct? Stainless steel is harder than pure iron. Stainless steel has to be harder than pure iron. Yes. Because stainless steel is an alloy. Alloys are usually harder than the element that they are made from. So this eliminates options C and D. Stainless steel resists corrosion better than pure iron. Yes, this is true. Stainless steel does resist corrosion better than iron, eliminating option B and making option A the correct option for this question. Question 25. Metal X is more reactive than metal Y. Metal Y is more reactive than metal Z. So X is more reactive than Y. Y is more reactive than Z. Okay. Which statement is correct? When metal X is placed in a solution of Y sulfate, there is no reaction. No, there would be a reaction. When metal X is placed in a solution of Z sulfate, a reaction occurs. Yes. When metal Y is placed in a solution of Z sulfate, there is no reaction. No, there would be a reaction. And metal Z placed in a solution of X sulfate, a reaction occurs. No, there would be no reaction since X is more reactive than Z. So Z cannot displace X from its sulfate. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option B. Question 26. Which statement about the industrial extraction of zinc is correct? Cryolite is added to lower the melting point. Cryolite is not used in the extraction of zinc at all. 
molten zinc oxide is electrolyzed no molten zinc oxide is not electrolyzed it is reacted with coke to produce zinc and release carbon dioxide so this is incorrect as well zinc oxide is heated with coke yes zinc sulfide is heated with coke no zinc sulfide is oxidized to zinc oxide which is heated with coke therefore the correct option for this question is option c Question 27, which row describes the use of an alloy and the property upon which the use depends? Alloy, mild steel is used as cutlery because it is resistant to corrosion. Which row describes the use of an alloy and the property upon which the use depends? Mild steel is used to make machinery because it is strong. Stainless steel. Okay, mild steel. Mild steel cannot be used because it is not resistant to corrosion. It will corrode. So, mild steel cannot be used for either cutlery or machinery. Stainless steel is used for cutlery because it has a low density. No, wait. Cutlery because it is resistant to corrosion. So, the property is incorrect. Wait, wait, wait. Option B. Let's uh, revisit it. Mild steel is used in machinery because it is strong. My steel is very strong. My steel is very strong, so it is used in making machinery. Yes, because machinery is usually coated with an oil paint. So mild steel will be used because then we protect it from corrosion by painting it. So this is a correct use. This is a correct use for mild steel. Stainless steel is used to make cutlery, but not because of the low density but because of its resistance to corrosion. So property is incorrect here. And stainless steel is not used to make machinery. Uh, good conductor electricity is correct, but that is not the use of stainless steel. So the correct option for this question is option B. Question 28. Dry air is passed over hot copper until all the oxygen has reacted. The volume of gas at the end of the reaction is 120 centimeter cube. What is the starting volume of dry air? So the starting volume of dry air, if at the end it is 120, then we will have to read the starting point. So since air contains 21% by volume of oxygen and only oxygen reacts with copper, so we have 100 minus 21 giving us 79% of the air remaining, which has a volume of 120. So 100% of air would have a volume of 100 upon 79 into 120, giving us a value of 152 centimeter cube, which makes option B the correct option for this question. Question 29. A steel bicycle which had been left outdoors for several months was starting to rust. What would not reduce the rate of corrosion? Removing the rust and paint the bicycle, this would stop the rate of corrosion or reduce it. Remove the rust and store the bicycle in a dry shed. Yes, this would stop the rate of corrosion. Remove the rust and wipe the bicycle with a clean damp cloth. If you're wiping it with a clean damp cloth, it will not reduce the rate of corrosion. The rate of corrosion would be uh, equal or greater because you're exposing it to more uh, water. So this would not reduce the rate of corrosion and remove the rust and wipe the bicycle with an oily cloth. Yes, if you put an oil, it will prevent it from further exposure to water. So this will reduce the rate of corrosion. So the correct option for this question is option C. Question 30, which statements about water are correct? Household water contains dissolved salts. Yes. Water for household use is filtered to remove soluble 
impurities no this does not happen we have water uh, that comes uh, to our household with soluble impurities in it so this is incorrect water is treated with chlorine to kill bacteria yes this is correct and water is used in industry for cooling yes water is used to cool in the industry so since statements 1 3 and 4 are correct option c is the correct option for this question